Hey guys, what's up? NPS Ready here, and welcome back to another excited 3D tutorial. Today we will use Blender to create a 3D artwork. Doesn't matter if you are a beginner. Probably I am hoping you know the tools, how Blender tools work, and how the interface works. And if you know these basics, you are good to follow this tutorial. So without any more delay, let's get started this video. But before doing this, if you guys want to learn more about 3D, you can visit our course Modern CZ at where I made a, you know two separate project and share cool trick to do these kinds of artwork. And if you are loves to know about visual effect our latest course modern vfx is available now you can go and check it and learn amazing visual effect so let's get started this video for completing this art you need a few things first we need grass second we need a bus or car or any type of vehicle or any other stuff you are you know wanna put in your scene you can just put it and in last we need a robot character and in this tutorial i will also show you how you can you know blend like our sky system and also hdri if you don't wanna miss anything please stick till the end to learn all the secret which i use to complete this artwork okay so let's get started by creating a new general and this is a new project i will simply drag and delete everything and here you will see all the keyboard shortcut which I will press. So first we will create a ground. So I will press shift A and create a new plane. I will press S and make it 12 to make it bigger. And then for adding details I will simply add some more resolution into our plane. So I will press tab to go inside the edit mode. Right click and subdivide multiple times. Press tab to go back object mode. Go to the modifier and use a modifier called displace. And click on this new texture button and here I'll click to show all the textures and type I will change to cloud and you will see some weird stuff first I'll press ctrl a and apply all the scale and I'll increase the size to make something like this I can press right click and set smooth this looks pretty okay I can go to the modifier tab and here I'll play with the strength because I don't want much of displacement this is pretty good if you want to add more resolution, you can go to the modifier and add a subdivision surface modifier and make it 2 and it will add more resolution to your plane. Now let's add a new camera to you know create a frame. So I'll press shift A and go to the camera and click to add a camera. And on the viewport, I am pressing shift and middle mouse button. Here you can see. And I'll just simply, you know, just through my eye, I will create a frame like this. And I'll press Ctrl, Alt, and number pad 0. And it will snap my camera to current view. Here, I will go to the output properties. And now I can define the resolution. Like in this case, if you want 9020 by 1080, you can go. Otherwise, I will make 1080 by 1080, like a 1 in 1 ratio. Perfect. I'll move it here and I'll just click and drag to create another view. Now I'll press here and here to hide all the overlays, press T to hide this navigation and gizmo tools, okay? First we load our grass. So in this case I will use a plugin from Polygonic which is Botonic. Botonic is a free and paid add-on to create some, you know, nature in your footage. So I will add all the, you know, uh, footage add-ons and every details and download links in my video description so you can go there and download it when you will go and download the light version free version or paid version install it by going to the edit preferences add-on and install it press n and here you will find the polygonic so i'm going to use two programs from polygonic which is botonic and traffic traffic is for the car and all the vehicle stuff and botonic is for the nature stuff but in case if you don't want to use traffic you can go to the sketch fab and download a lot of free vehicle models which is available free but now i'm going to use traffic click on the span assets and here i will find a car which i like okay so in this case i like the public transport and here are few buses okay choose maybe this one press s to down the scale and yeah this looks little better and i'll press n to hide it and guys if you wanna animate this stuff you can go to the pose mode and you can f select any stuff and you can easily you know here you can see you can easily animate them and these are super handy and easy to control anyway so i will simply go to the object mode press g z and move it up uh, like over here okay 
I can press R Z and just rotate it a bit. Control S and save your project. Now let's create select our ground and press N. And this time I will use Botonic. And this time I'll go to the plus icon and choose Botonic. And this time I will use a category. There is a, a lot of category like I can create rocks. But in this case I'm going to use grass. Grass. And if I click here there are a bunch of preset which we can use. I'm using the paid versions. So if you are using the free one maybe you will find one one or two options okay preset not the not all so i'm going to use the basic one and hit okay and here you see we quickly created a lot of grasses okay so for now i'm going to move the next part which is called lighting okay but we will add some white flowers a little later i will select this bus and just move it a little up to make it in a center control is to save it click middle mouse button and drag it and click here to change this view into the rendered view and click here to render settings and change the engine cycle change the device gpu and now we wanna add lighting so first i'm going to the output settings and enable render region so it will not render this area perfect go to the world properties and on the color first let's create a sky texture just for now and maybe make it 0.5 okay just for now we'll adjust it later okay i'll select this ground and now i'll press n select and press n to open all the settings okay here are the numbers so maybe i'll just remove one zero or just make it like 5000 grasses okay i'll click on this plus icon and this time i'll go with new because i want to create a new particle system for this ground okay and here i'll add a white and hit okay and by the way here you can also change the count but i'll press hit okay okay if i'll go down and go to the this option click on this plus and here i'll go to the flowers there are a bunch of but i'll go to the flowers and i'll click here and i will choose the white flower like this one and hit ok and you will see we have white flowers i will click on this plus icon once again to add uh, another variation of white flower like first i use this one now i will use this one or i have a few other also okay so i'll click this one hit ok and click one more time and uh, let's use some single one like this one hit ok one more one all right so we created a lot of particles for the white flowers okay here on the white there is a 1000 of numbers flowers so let's make it 5000 and here i can play with the scale randomization and here i can also increase the scale you can see same way i will select the grass and maybe i just down the grass size let's see and let's increase the number to like 8000 for the grass now let's add a sky into our scene for that i need a hdri but if you see here if i go to the color and choose a hdri environment texture we will you know lose the sky texture so i will show you in a moment how you can do both okay first i will click here and drag upward to create another view okay and in here i'll click and change this to the shader editor okay now i'll change this object to the world so now we have a world settings and here i can easily choose a hdri or i can easily open it here so i will open choose hdri and i'm using a hdri from hdri heaven so let's uh, try one of these let's select this one and open image and i can press ctrl t and here i can just rotate the g value you can see like this here maybe i will press 2 in strength and now guys I will create create a mix shader and plug it here and then I'll simply shift D to duplicate this background and plug this background into shader and here I will shift A and choose a sky texture and plug this color into the color. So now we have a both right. So here I'll make the strength 1 into our sky texture change the few settings first make the ozone 3. I'll just down the dust and I'll just down the air a little bit okay so now you can see we have our sky and also our sky texture and we have our HDRI okay so now I will just rotate our sun position until sun goes over here and make the evolution maybe 10 so it will be little down and I can also unplug this to see clearly where my sun is perfect and I'll just down the sun intensity a bit little good and i can make the sun size 2 so it will be a little soft and now plug the hdri once again and here i can also play with the factor like which one i want more and make this strength also one 
so this looks little good so far i will select this bus again i will press gz to move it like over here and then i will simply select this bus and go to this modifier tab and add a modifier called simple deform and this will help me to deform the bus okay so twist is good i will choose y so we will get the actual result which i want and with this this angle i can play how much deform i actually want i can also play with the bend and here you can see this is the bend so i don't wanna you know manipulate this bus because this is school bus and i don't like i'll select this traffic and delete hierarchy and now i will open traffic spawn asset and i will use the bus press n and make it small this z make it little more small press r z and rotate it a bit and this time i will press uh, select this bus go to the modifier and use a simple deform and choose in a y and here you can see i can definitely play to bend a lot but this much bend is pretty much enough yeah this looks good i can press r z to rotate it a bit more if i want select this bus and press n and if i'll go down there is an option called dart scratch and bump so if i'll increase the dart and i'll if i'll click set so here you will see clearly we have added some dart into our car which makes it more real same i will increase the scratches and bumps and make it set set so now this looks more believable and it looks a little real or effect now i will select the camera go to the camera tools and this is the focal length so maybe i'll press 35 in a focal length and if i'll press n and go to the view camera to view and enable this gizmos i will make it little zoom like this and i mean basically i'm adjusting the camera just make it 55 press n and unlock the camera so it will lock i will go to the depth of field and i will simply pick and pick the bus so now you'll see we have added the depth of field but on the f stop i will make it one okay to add a, a lot of blur and on the ratio i will make it three to add this anamorphic lenses and in the blade i'll make it 16 so it will make it you know more resolution like that 1.5 over here so here you can see this looks pretty cool and what we can do more we can spawn all you know few more assets like supercar we have a supercars like i can use one of these into our scene and let's hide the bus for now and this this is the car this is it and maybe i can you know create a simple car render or i can select this car and do the same simple deform over here so you can be little creative with these renders i can select this car and uh, same i can set all this stuff and also i can change the color and here i can you know like i can use a red car or a blue car anything i can apply another you know a simple deform to give it more control like this time i will use a bend tool and make it in a y yeah so these are simple things which you you can do i'll select the camera and this time i will pick this and guys you can also add some you know cloud vdvs but for the test purposes let me you know change the color in black something like this let's add one more uh, car hit ok and press ZZ to move it over here let's select this let's quickly do the same thing if you want you can add some robot and other characters but for now it's looking pretty good if you wanna you know change some world settings like strength of sun you can do it or maybe if you wanna rotate it the sun position you can do it quickly but this looks good so far and uh, now i wanna just simply render it so i'll go to the render settings make samples and make it 256 and here i can go to the output and same i will do with here so i have a big resolution okay and 
this is pretty much it i can simply go to the render render image and i will render this image let's save this to one and let's make it 16 and compression zero to make it high resolution and this time what i will do more i will simply z x and make it little behind oh, it is looking but i'm gonna simply add some depth into our scene that's why i'm doing this you know you can just quickly animate few things or change the position to add a new story into your scene let me uh, save this one more okay render image and you can also download this project file onto my patreon page renders which i did today okay so let me select our footage and drag and drop to this icon to create a new composition and here i will create a new adjustment layer and then i will use a selective color and i will play with the original like here i can play with the red yellow green and all other with cyan magnet yellow and black and i can tweak a color with a specific look so this is the one which i created simply copy and paste it here so it will generate the same look here you can see if i will remove the grain here you can see this looks beautiful to me so yeah this way you can create some stunning 3d artwork and post it to your profile and i hope you really enjoyed to learning this tutorial and i also applied a lumetri color here you can see i you know boost the vibrance and saturation and maybe I, I play with the saturation i down the saturation and here i also play with the color wheels a little bit and add a touch of vignette and i add sarpen and some green into our footage and this is the final look i hope you really enjoy the tutorial and if this is the case please go and visit our youtube channel our channel has a lot of tutorials just like this and also about visual effect and thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for loving me i am mps 3d and i will see you next time with amazing tutorial thanks to all the members who are supporting me i will see you next time bye bye